All right, guys, we are back with another game. We're going to add Alien Isolation to the vote. So what I'm going to do is now that I've gotten a bunch of new stuff up on the channel, I'm going to do second episodes of everything, and we'll see which ones uh, which ones work the best, and then we'll go with those as to replace some of the stuff that we currently have going. So let's go ahead and get this started. Offward we go. Start. Uh, so I am going to go ahead and play Novice just so I don't have to fight it with too much. I know I could probably do better, but, you know, let's get our brightness figured out here. Hey, there we go. All right, guys, let's get into it. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane. Lambert. Parker. Brett. Ash. And Captain Dallas. Are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. Spooky. Ripley? I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I facility. know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. Oh, yeah? You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. All right, so basic storyline in this game. You're uh, going out to find out what happened. 
and I have a cat rubbing up against my mic. Alright. Now I have seen some stuff on this game. I've played the first few minutes and I absolutely love what they've done. Everything looks fantastic. I mean, the way that they they styled everything towards the way the movies looked and the, the clunky technology of the day when the movies were created, it looks, it looks fantastic. They did an excellent job. All right, so let's go get dressed. Personal storage. Where's ours? Are we in one of these or nope? Okay. Moving further on. We do have a terminal here. Alright, that should give you guys whoop. Get back here. Should give you guys enough time to uh, take a look at that there. Alright. And let's see if we can find some clothes, because clothes clothes probably be good. Uh there's a shower. I do believe you can actually use the shower. Yep, totally can. The weird thing is, is I'm currently wearing clothes, so that might have been a bad idea. I'm not completely nude, but uh, now I'm also soggy. Ah, personal lock. Let's get dressed. Alright, excellent. We now have shoes on, at least. Pants. Pants are good. Now let's see what we got here. Not much we can do with that. Let's keep on cruising. Ah, okay, so these are our, our save locations. Uh, do I want to overwrite? Why, yes, I do. Excellent. All right. Actually, is there another door out of this room? Uh, no, it's not. Okay. So we go back out the way we can. Probably need to go further down the hallway, I'm guessing. Space suits. They look so awesome. They did a really good job reconstructing this stuff. Uh, from the, from the films. Oh, hang on. Can we, can we loot these? Nope. I think this is the the uh, airlocky thing, so let's not go that way. Let's go this way. There's the hospital. I believe that's where we're supposed to be going. Ah, oh, Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. All right. Kind of looking around. It's really cool. Everything's got blinky lights on it. Classic right there. It's awesome. All right. I don't think we can lose anything yet. That's not creepy at all. The 
airlock back down there again. So we'll go this way. Hey! Taylor, good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. And I very much doubt it's morning either. Sorry. I feel like you, death. You need a nap. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Waylon Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. I realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and, and you... It's okay. Something weird we'll about her we want, right? mouth okay. movements. Have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. Done and done. All personnel to the bridge. Approaching Sevastopol Station. Looks like we're up. Here we go. Uh, let's take off. So we can loot some things now. There are a couple of bins here and there that we can dig into. Cereal, anybody? Let's see what we got here. Alright, just some background information. You guys can go ahead and read that if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and move on. Wait, what's in here? That is a weird looking hippo. And cassette tapes. Fantastic. Uh, okay, so that's the way we came in. We must be going the other way. Let's get on over this direction. Hope you all had a restful journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-Class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Alrighty. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how we doing? RCMG loaded and calibrated. Routine. Approach vector Never locked. Is. Prep comms so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. What did I do with those briefing documents? They were not in my briefs when I woke up. Ah, here we go. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. It's hit. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is the commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol Traffic Control. We're carrying three passengers on a whaling. Yutani Bond, you're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. <laughs> Marshall, this is the Torrent. Say again. Never a good sign. The station's comm seemed pretty screwed up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrents in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Or something. Safe trip. Don't say safe trip. Are Stand any of these by. people My wearing red shirts? Doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option, and it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Perfect. See, there it is again. 
Oh man, they did such a good job with this. Such a good job. Fuck happened here? My God, Ripley, you're doing good, Taylor. Look at him. Just keep moving. <laughs> could actually use gloves that big. <laughs> Alright. Not a great start to this adventure. We've had some uh, bumps. All right, I have crosshair, sort of. One moment, we're saving. And we might be unconscious. All right. crazy weird little fans and other stuff in the door. Can't we just run around the spaceship? That'd be kinda awesome. Okay, let's let's change. Let's get out of the clunky suit. Alright. Back in our squeaky shoes. I don't see much we can loot in here. Go, keep going. All right. Not spooky at all. We're totally fine. Totally good. Just because this game has alien in the name title doesn't mean they're here. I'm going to keep telling myself that. Alright. We are saved. Well, we're not saved. But we're saved. And these containers I can use. What am I owing about? Warning. Sebastopol stability compromised. Did you proceed to the nearest marshal trip checkpoint and stand by while orbital stabilizers realign? Hmm. Not sure what that was about. She was like, oh. She saw a guy or no, something happened. Fire, that's never a good idea in space. Base fire is bad. Anything over here at all?
the, there's never danger in, uh, in the air ducts. Always a good idea. Never a problem. Things don't jump out of the air ducts. Totally fine. Bumpy. Bumpy. things to read. All right, guys. Well, we have gotten our first taste of Alien Isolation. We'll pick it up next episode. Like I said, I will do two of every one of the new games, and we'll see what works best before we move on with longer series. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do leave a like down below if you did. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave those as well. And as always, if you have not already, please, please, please hit that subscribe button on your way out. I'd appreciate it. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Alright guys, I was going to add this on to the end of the episode. I didn't quite make it to a save area, so I'm not going to uh, cut this off. I wanted you guys to be able to see it as I crawled through here to get to one real quick. Um, I did end the episode a little prematurely. That's alright, we'll move on and uh, we'll finish up here in just a second. Uh, save point. How about that save point? I go up there. Guess I'm going up there. I got a few things. Not weird or creepy. Alright, guys. Now, for real, we're going to end it. Alright, guys. I'll see you next time.